The Grand National is nearly upon us and the question that everyone is asking is who's going to win and that might be an impossible question to answer but we certainly have a few pointers for you and Paul, who, who takes your fancy this year? Well I think the Grand National is like any other handicap, you want a horse who's a little bit ahead of the game yep. and for me this year that's Quinn's. Uh, okay, he comes with some baggage. Yeah. Uh, no seven-year-old has won the race since Boxcar in 1940. Quite a long time. Yep, yeah, true. And no novice has won since Mr. Watt in 1958. Although for a lot of those years, novices weren't allowed to run. But what I do like about him is on a mark in this race of just 144, and that's nine pounds lower than he should be running on now after he won the racing post chase. Now, there's a few others in the race, like what's a friend, for example, after his Gold Cup run, who are similar. They're up in the weights now, but the difference is for me, this one, he's progressive and I think he's still improving. So nine pounds, it could well be 12 pounds, 14 pounds in terms of improvement come the day. Any concerns over the ground? No, I, I, I think he'll go on most. I think the ground hopefully is gonna dry up a little. I don't think that's going to hurt him at all. Okay, well, I fancy Niche Market. He was fancied last year and he didn't finish. He was pulled up after a cut was found on his, I think his back leg. Mm. Required seven stitches, I think. Yeah. And this year, Harry Skelton, he, he likes him. Rude Borsch has taken a midnight club, which, you know, maybe is the reason why he's favourite. Mm. But I think he stays the distance. He likes a long trip. And I think he's been prepared for this race. Oh, yeah. He's oh, been, yeah. And connections apparently do fancy him this year. And I think this could be... Paul Nick is his first winner in the Grand National. Another one I like is Big Fella Thanks. Now, he ran a big race last year, yeah. finished fourth, but fell away during the last stages and maybe didn't stay the trip, but this year he's been primed for this race. He's finished behind Riverside Theatre in a good race. Maybe he won't stay this year, but I think experience, mm -hmm. preparation, I think that could be the key. And he's only gone up three pounds this year. Oh yeah. And it's, it's quite fancy now. He's not going to go for a big price, but you'll have a good race from that horse. And I know, Paul, you've been looking at some longer odds horses. Yeah, a couple for the places at a bit of a price. One I'd have to stick in is Majestic Concord, Irish horse. He's trained by Dermot Weld, and he doesn't come over here for the fun of it. Yep. He's serious. And another one, another Irish horse, in compliance. Now, OK, he's a bit of light of yesterday's, I admit that. He's a sound jumper, and he's got a touch of class. Now, we've seen with Monmo that. A hundred to one shot can win it, and oh, yeah. anyone's got a chance this year. Oh, definitely. And especially with the ground being pretty nice this year for anyone to win it. I, one horse we can strike off, we don't think will win, is Silver by Nature. Not enough mud, probably. Not enough mud, probably. But as you just said yourself, it's it's hard. It's a very open race. Yep. Yeah, I'd agree with you, but we could still end up with egg on our face. But I definitely like Quins. So there you go, Quins and Niche Market for us. Tune in on Saturday to see who wins.